This is Marcy Pilkington for GoodEreader.com at Digital Book World, talking to Carmen Lamb and Jean Kaplansky from Aptara, who will be talking to us about Apple's new initiative, the iBook author, and giving us a demonstration of some, some of the things that Aptara has done with it. So Jean, why don't you start by telling us a little bit about what the program itself is. Okay. Well, iBook author is a new application that's based in the Apple App Store for Macintoshes, uh, running the Lion version of the OS 6.10.7. And what it does is it makes it very easy for you to take the bits and parts that you would use to create a new copy and put them all together into a package that you can easily deploy into Apple iBooks 2.0 on an Apple iPad. Now, the thing about iBooks Author is that it is uh, very specific to the Apple platform. Uh, there are some uh, interesting clauses in the user license terms of agreement. Um, one of those clauses says that if you create your ebook package, your iBook per se, with their software, you can only sell it through the Apple iBook store, or you have to give it away free because it can only be read in the Apple iBooks 2.0 app on an iPad. Now, the thing about this is what they did is started with the EPUB free standard and then they moved away from the actual standard and did extensions in ways that made sense to them. So they did some extensions in the area of the style sheet and some extensions in the area of the functionality driven by JavaScript. And they did some extensions to the actual uh, packaging of the content itself to really indicate that this is an Apple iBook. It's not an EPUB 3, so you should not expect the iBook to be capable of being read by an EPUB 3 functioning reader. So that's about it, about the authoring tool. It's pretty much drag and drop, pull your pieces into place, and then do a package. And um, once you've got your package, you've got a real easy way of getting it up on iBooks. Okay, well great. And Carmen, you're going to give us a little bit of a demonstration about what Aptar has actually done with this functionality so far. Sure. Okay. Uh, well, what we did over the weekend was, of course, download the tool and we wanted to play around with it, um, you know, see what the user friendliness was like, um, the interface. So we took some content that we had uh, from a client and poured it in using all of the, the tools that the uh, iBook author uh, provides. Uh, the functionality is, is really, you know, quite interesting. There's some quiz functionality. Uh, you know, here's a multiple choice. Uh, you know, they're trying to build in a lot of interactivity into the content, which of course a lot of uh, students will enjoy. But the tool, of course, will be also used for a non-educational book. So, um, you know authors of all kinds I think will be able to use the tool as long as they understand the limitations behind it. Um, here's a video that can play within the content. You have Zoom as you would normally have. So it's certainly user friendly as long as people understand the limitations. I think uh, it's very useful for a certain market and it will be very interesting you know, as this evolves and people start using it, what the feedback truly is. Uh, we have a webinar on Thursday uh, that will discuss, you know, a week later what uh, people are starting to say about it. McGraw Hill will be joining that webinar, so it'll be interesting to get their perspective on it as okay. they're part of the release. Great, and we'll have the link to that webinar on our website as well. Thank you both so much. Again, this is Mercy Pilkington for Good E-Reader at Digital Book World. Thank you. Thank you.